Okay. Believe we are good to go. We are good to go. Hopefully. Uh, well... It's been a while. <laughs> it's, been, it's, been, it's been a while. Um, I decided to do the thing I do always and uh, record stuff since the new event came around. And, uh, well, I don't want to miss any PTN events. Like, uh, Reverse 9099 is fine. I, I recorded one part of it. I got bored, bored of the event and I just dropped it. And I've never finished it. I really don't give a shit about that one. Um, it's a bit too unserious for me. Um, I guess uh, I'm going to be doing the two things today, actually. Because I never actually did this uh, since the Eternal Nightmare became a thing. I already showed it before. I'm never, I never actually read these. I just got the sound back. Can you stop? The sound back is so fucking annoying. Anyway, <laughs> where was I? Okay, uh, I never actually did re read these. So I'm gonna be using this opportunity to read both of them since they're both uh, relatively short, actually. So, we're going to be starting with the Blood Illusor Ill Illusory Moon Rising. Uh, with Illusory Moon. Never actually seen what, what, was, what is happening with the with Drea and uh, Mantis. So, I'm going to see it. I'm going to see now. April 20th. NF113. Uh, Nightfall 113. FAC DC Surveillance Zone. Alarm L level A. A high level of ring activity detected in a 100 meter radius around the coordinates of 14.2k or 1.0k, as evidenced by the dramatic M value increase in the area. Video loading. Video loading. Abnormal contamination mouth flow at 33 degrees at the BR000 border confirmed. A large number of many infected creatures are spilling into the surrounding area. The FSC promptly strengthened its defenses. The defenses. Soldier 172 from Unit N25 of FAC Special Operatives Forces against Black Rings spotted the singularity and an on-site preliminary evaluation of its M value is being conducted. Andrea. The target is believed to be a sinner, classified S class. The target exhibits no intention of sanity or, com to commu or sanity to communicate. No record is available regarding its previous activities. Its identity has yet to be determined. Initial power assessment, gravity manipulation. It can manipulate any object, object below a certain mass to attack in a wide range for, with destructive power. Its power seems to have been greatly magnified by the deceased strange phenomena. The light is noticeably distorted. The FEC death toll, 26 deaths of uh, April 20th, 36 deaths as of April 23rd. The singularity has broken through the first broken front line, requesting backup. 85, 58 deaths to, oh, as of April 24th. The singularity has broken through the second broken front line, requesting backup. The reply received on, on, on April 27th. Uh, Nightfall 113 from Paradise's Ring Research Institute reads... The activity level of the BR000 rises and falls in cycles. The new round of increases is nothing out of the ordinary, and it won't last longer than one month. The whole city is currently troubled by a new wave of many incidents. Uh, it'll take time to reassign some of the troops. Before help arrives, FSC Special Operative Forces against Black Rings shall continue with the operation on its own. Repeat, continue with the operation independently. Keep up the defense. Keep up the efforts. Uh, Paradise is as usual. Uh, handle this yourself, motherfuckers. Handle this as usual, motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Not not going. Uh, the handling isn't going too well, huh? One one uh, one hundred fourteen deaths as of tw April twenty eighth. The singularity is about to reach the third broken front line. Let me check. Actually, the yeah, it seems to be working. Um, 136 deaths of as of April 29th. The singularity has reached and is uh, and is attacking the third broken front line. Units uh, NF21, NF23, NF24, and 
25 and 26 and 28, 29 and 30 of FEC Special Operations Forces against Black Rings have gone radio silent. Nightingale, acting chief of the ABCC, has arrived at the third broken road line along with the intelligence department, the medical team and the DC temporary arrest team to help with, with, with fight off uh, what is supposedly a sinner. All things stand, the ABCC can only provide a minimum amount of support. Repeat, the NBCC can only provide a minimum amount of support for the time being, as his NBC uh, chief, a live server, is unable to get involved. Okay, yeah, figure this is happening after chapter 12 then. Who is it? Where am I? Somewhere not far away, the tide ebbs and flows. A red moon rises above the sea, eerie and menacing. What does it look like? A giant egg, an all-seeing eye, a black hole, a bottomless abyss, or all of the above? A great many shadows ooze out of the moon. The earth are living things bent on luring innocent souls into the dark. They shake their way... Uh, they snag their way to where your broken cautiousness lies, toying with it before latching onto it. You're finally back. We find you. We found you. Oh, okay. No, this isn't the place. I've come to the wrong place. <laughs> Happens to you, chief. Stay away from me. A drop of icy water breaks the surface of a still pool, and a voice sounds in the deep recess or recess of your consciousness. As the moving mist disperses, your eyes sight returns. You are greeted by a scene the likes of which you've never seen before. Lost path. It's a dreamlike space, confusing and disorienting. The whispering of a distant tide caresses your eardrums, like a sleep-inducing lullaby. You search for a way out, but to no way out. Come, let me show you the way. So, uh, clearly whatever happened to him in chapter 12 or 11, whatever, whatever the case may be, I'm not exactly sure, um, he is stuck in an unconscious state of some sort. Um, and currently, the unconsciousness is where he is actually perceiving all, all that, whatever that is. Like, that is what, that is the genuine, genuine, general thing I am, I am seeing here. Shallow footprints extend to the distance. They move apart only to come together shortly after. They disappear only to reappear moments later. At the end of the trail stands a thin apparition. It is flickering. Only the crisp sound of a bell can be heard. The apparition is standing right under the red moon, not so far away from you. It looks nothing like any other apparition you've encountered. Who are you? The apparition doesn't turn around, nor does it answer your question. You see the red moonlight slowly encroaching on its body. Suddenly you hear a monstrous roar. The grey filth on the ground has gathered to form a mud monster. It is now gliding quickly towards you. The mud monster is driven off. You see the flickering image of the white apparition again, a short distance away. It is walking towards the red moon in a daze, murmuring under its breath. It is slowed down even before it entered the atmosphere. The speed before it started slowing down reached the speed of light? Could that explain why it's ha it has gone undetected? No, that's impossible. Maybe I should consider the whole thing the in the framework of a wormhole. Or maybe I miscalculated. Then, 
新しい元素22年経って原子核崩壊がこの地球外物質がこれほどの災害の引き起こす I assume this is talking about the comet of the beginning. Like, good questions. How the fuck is a sing simple comet caused so much? Right? Like, sure, right? It causes the initial explosion. Like, the dinosaurs were wiped out by something similar. But humanity survived. And it still causes troubles years after. Like, what is this bullshit? And how did it go? How did it went undetected before it entered the atmosphere? How, like, all of this bull, all of these questions are genuinely uh, something I would personally ask myself if I really sat down and thought about it. If I were in in this universe, just like, what the fuck? This doesn't make any sense, right? How exactly is this comet introducing so something so world altering here? Even though it came from like far away, like why didn't anyone notice anything about this? It's just like this is weird. This is really weird. What about the mass? If my rough calculation isn't far off, then the element is heavier than the element one one eight. A new element? It's been twenty two years. Considering the radioactive decay process, how is it possible that a, such a extraterrestrial uh, matter has caused so much so many disasters? Quick, I need to act fast. Go to find it now. It's, it is a woman's voice. It sounds familiar to you, although you can't quite put your finger in it. Dazed and confused, you take a step in her direction. Yeah, Drea. As if coming out of the days, she turns around to face you. She looks at you for a long while before recognition registers in her eyes. Her voice is gentle when she speaks to you, and her flickering figure begins to stabilize. She looks familiar to you. As you rack your brains trying to remember where you have seen the face before, she reaches out a hand and, before you can do anything in response, touches something attached to your ear. It's an earring. It's you. What are you doing here? Are you lost too? <laughs> Just kidding. We'd be in a lot of trouble if even our guide got lost too. She pauses as if deep in thought. Perishing star, yeah. Look like, uh, look like, uh, looks like I've got separated from the rest of the team again. I was looking for the perishing star. Got to find it as soon as possible. Captain must be, furi must be furious with me. I'm sorry. I'll return to the base now. Are you here to take me back, my dear guide? I don't know. I don't know what this place is. I don't know the way back. I don't know who you are. So, is that so? Guess we're both lost then. Are you scared? Kind of. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to say no. Like, my body is old, but considering the whole memory loss thing, I'm not even, like, a year old. <laughs> Maybe a year old. Maybe. Like, pushing it. <laughs> Quite understandable. You're barely an adult. But don't worry, I got your back. She extends her hand to you, a warm smile on her face. You are familiar with this place. You found me, after all. And I'm sure you can find your way back. She is still a blurry image, but you can feel the warmth in her smile, the only source of warmth in this warmth in this unsettling place. You reach out your hand to take hers as a question escapes your lips. Oh. Who are you? Her lips were moving, but you don't catch the answer. Huh. 
Huh. So, thing is, uh, Drea, uh, in the real world, I assume, the Drea got broke, it bro broke through the uh, BR000 in her weird corrupted form. She did, right? Um, whatever this is, it's clearly not huma human Drea. Something, is, something else is controlling her. Um, because she seems like a gentle soul. I don't think she would um, intentionally go go out of her way to hurt anyone like that's not that's not what this vibes to me right so something is attacking using her body she is trapped in whatever else we are trapped in she's lost there um i guess our job here is to guide her back into her body question mark <laughs> that's 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 generally what i would what, what i'm assuming we are doing here so i know i i know i played this right i played through the original um event as you can see here i did play it um i, I just I, I just skipped the stories because i didn't record back then and i didn't stream and i didn't really have the time to stream this whole thing um let's see what happens next the white light is receding and so is the murmuring are you awake are you that ominous illusory realm? Don't think so. No, you haven't left it. You can still see the swimming red light in the distance, except that it's very far away now. You find yourself standing in front of a ruin. This should be the base of the woman uh, the woman mentioned, uh, what, what's left of it. The woman who brought you here is gone. There is a cool sensation in her hand, in the hand that she was holding. You look down and see a light blue crystal flower. The light it emits feels familiar and gives you a sense of security. It's safe here, you think to yourself. You look ahead and the object that stands solemnly at the center of the des this deserted piece of land. Oh, interesting. <sighs> this is a weird place. I'm not exactly sure what to take a make of it. It reminds me of the dungeon of the dungeons mazes we are uh, we appreciate it. We we you, we are passing in the main story like the the mazes it's not the mazes themselves don't offer detailed uh illustrations of backgrounds like that but judging from pure word explanations of what i can i remember about actually doing with them within them i think this is the same kind of thing but on a bigger scale it's not attached to a singular person um it's a trap for maybe a group of people G judging by the fact that we return to several sinners and there will be a third sinner judging by the one case locked there will be a third sinner there uh trapped there we already have two sinners which is drea and mantis both of them trapped in the same same thing and if i'm not, if i'm remembering correctly i did read upon upon this that this is an expedition members uh into br000 um so this is the illusory realm that is attached to them maybe because this is a camp there's a remnants of camp so maybe it's it's attached to them specifically it's not the mania sea out there specifically because nobody can survive in the mania sea but it's like a little pocket dimension within the mania sea i think it's an ink black steel with the surrounding area scattered with dots of blue light. You realize that they are broken remains of many blue crystal flowers as you approach the steel. You come to its foot and look up at it. By this time, you're completely clear-headed. Engraved on the steel are the patterns you saw on the beach, followed by many neat rows of words. The words seem to be written in some strange language. They're fuzzy and incomprehensible. Touch. You try hard to make sense of the words. You feel that you can understand them, but their meaning seems within reach and unreachable at the same time. It's like a slippery fish that you're unable to hold onto. You're familiar. Hmm. You are familiar with this place. You have found you have found me after all. I'm, this this reminds me of a door, and I'm sure you can find your way back. Like this is a, like a door. 
Drea. The earring hums in response. Some of the engraved words light up, and you have the epitome. The steel is the way back. Drea. Awesome. I can actually, I can actually somewhat understand the um, path to nowhere alphabet now, which is kind of cool. You have to decipher the words, or rather, recover a lost memory before you can locate the real exit. The woman who led you here may be the only person who can help you to get out of this illusory realm. You need to go back to her. You leave the deserted place and make for the red light in the distance. You glance up to the loser, illusory moon, feeling sure that she is waiting for you under the moon. The red moon grows in size as you draw nearer. It is not just your physical body that is approaching it, but your consciousness as well. You stare at it, your eyes boring into it as your consciousness disintegrates and regroups. Disintegrates and regroups, yeah. You're back, but not actually walk here. As you stared at the red moon, your consciousness disintegrated and regrouped, and you were transported back. Now, all around you, you can see shadow figures and near bone chilling and near bone chilling murmurs. The place isn't how you remember it. She is nowhere to be seen, and your surroundings look somewhat different. I must find her, you remind yourself. She will show you the way out. <laughs> 